What are chromosomes? Have you ever wondered about how your eyes or hair came to be color they are? Did your parents pick out the color of your eyes? Not exactly, but they did play a big part in determining their color. How? They passed along their chromosomes to you. In this video, we will learn about the structure and types of the chromosomes. Chromosomes are thread-like structures in which DNA is tightly packaged within the nucleus. The term chromosome was coined by Waldeer in 1888. The chromosomes exhibit different structures as circular in bacteria and linear in eukaryotic organisms. A typical chromosome has similar structure called chromatids. The chromatids are connected to the center part called centromere. There are two types of constrictions in chromosomes called primary and secondary constrictions. A primary constriction is made up of centromere and kinetochore. The centromeres vary in number in different chromosomes. A chromosome with only one centromere is called monocentric and the chromosome with many centromeres is called polycentric. A centromere consists of two kinetochores in it. Each kinetochore is made up of protein fibers and microtubules. The centromere is the one which allows the chromatids to move. Let's move on to learn about the different types of chromosomes. On the basis of the position of centromeres, chromosomes are of mainly four types. First, metacentric chromosomes. They have the centromere in the center such that both sections are of equal length. Human chromosome 1 and 3 are metacentric. Second, submetacentric chromosomes. They have the centromere slightly offset from the center leading to a slight asymmetry in the length of the two sections. Human chromosomes 4 through 12 are submetacentric. Third, acrocentric chromosomes. They have a centromere which is severely offset from the center leading to one very long and one very short section. Human chromosomes 13, 15, 21 and 22 are acrocentric. Fourth, telocentric chromosomes. They have the centromere at the very end of the chromosome. Humans do not possess telocentric chromosomes but they are found in other species such as mice. Besides this, chromosomes are also classified into autosomes and sex chromosomes. The chromosomes that are found in all somatic cells of the body are called autosomes and they decide the somatic character of the organism. While sex chromosomes are present in gametes or germinal cells and they decide the sex of an organism. For example, in humans, there are 23 pairs or 46 chromosomes out of which 22 pairs are autosomes and the remaining one pair is sex chromosomes. Let's answer a few questions asked in medical entrance exams. Question 1. Who gave the term chromosome? First, Waldea. Second, Watson and Crick. Third, Franklin. Fourth, Perkinji. This question was asked in CPMT 2009. Solution. The term chromosome was given by Waldea in 1888. Hence, option 1 is the correct answer. Question 2. In human chromosome number 3 is first telocentric, second acrocentric, third submetacentric, fourth metacentric. This question was asked in AFMC 2013. Solution Metacentric chromosomes have the centromere in the center such that both sections are of equal length. For example, 
human chromosome 1 and 3 are metacentric. Hence, option 4 is the correct answer. This concludes our video on structure and types of chromosomes. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.